The Lockheed Martin Boeing F-22 Raptor is an American single-seat, twin-engine, supersonic all-weather stealth fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force, USAF. As a product of the USAF's Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF, program the aircraft was designed as an air superiority fighter, but also incorporates ground attack, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence capabilities. The prime contractor, Lockheed Martin, built most of the F-22's airframe and weapons systems and conducted final assembly, while program partner Boeing provided the wings, aft fuselage, avionics integration, and training systems. The aircraft first flew in 1997 and was variously designated F-22 and F-A-22 before it formally entered service in December 2005 as the F-22A. Although the USAF had originally planned to buy a total of 750 ATFS, the program was cut to 187 production aircraft in 2009 due to high costs. A lack of air-to-air -air missions at the time of production, and the development of the more affordable and versatile F-35. The last F-22 was delivered in 2012. While it had a protracted development and initial operational difficulties, the F-22 has become a critical component of the USAF's tactical air power. The fighter's combination of stealth, aerodynamic performance, and mission systems enabled a leap in air combat capabilities and set the benchmark for its generation. To improve pilot visibility and aerodynamics, the canopy was moved forward 7 inches or 18 centimeters and the engine inlets moved rearward 14 inches or 36 centimeters. The shapes of the fuselage, wing, and stabilator trailing edges were refined to improve aerodynamics, strength, and stealth characteristics. The production airframe was designed with a service life of 8,000 hours. Increasing weight during EMD due to demanding ballistic survivability requirements and added capabilities caused slight reductions in projected range and maneuver performance. Aside from advances in air vehicle and propulsion technology, the F-22's avionics and software were unprecedented in terms of complexity and scale. With the fusion of multiple sensor systems and software integration of 1.7 million lines of code, to enable early looks and troubleshooting for mission software development, the software was flight tested on a Boeing 757 modified with F-22 mission systems to serve as the flying test bed avionics laboratory. The F-22 cannot be exported under U.S. federal law to protect its stealth technology and classified features. Customers for U.S. fighters are acquiring earlier designs such as the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon or the newer F-35 Lightning II which contains technology from the F-22 but was designed to be cheaper, more flexible, and available for export. In September 2006, Congress upheld the ban on foreign F-22 sales. Despite the ban, the 2010 Defense Authorization Bill included provisions requiring the DoD to report on the costs and feasibility for an F-22 export variant, and another report on the effect of F-22 export sales on the U.S. aerospace industry. The Japanese government also showed interest in the F-22 for its replacement fighter program. The Japan Air Self-Defense Force would reportedly require fewer fighters for its mission if it obtained the F-22, thus reducing engineering and staffing costs. With the end of F-22 production, Japan chose the F-35. Israel also expressed interest, but eventually chose the F-35 because of the F-22's price and unavailability. Additional modernization and enhancements are under development. Upgrades currently being tested include new sensors and antennas, integration of new weapons, and reliability improvements such as more durable stealth coatings, the dedicated advanced IRST. IRST is one way to detect and track objects that emit electromagnetic radiation or infrared signatures. More simply put, it's a type of sensor system that can detect and track threats at long ranges. Other developments include all aspect IRST functionality for the missile launch detector, manned unmanned teaming capability with collaborative combat aircraft or loyal wingmen, and cockpit improvements. Aside from capability upgrades, the F 22 fleet underwent a $350 million structures retrofit program to address improper titanium heat treatment in the parts of certain airframe batches. By January 2021, all aircraft had gone through the structural repair program to ensure full lifetimes for all aircraft. The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation air superiority fighter that is considered fourth-generation in stealth aircraft technology by the USAF. 
It is the first operational aircraft to combine supercruise, supermaneuverability, stealth, and integrated avionics, or sensor fusion, in a single weapons platform to enable it to survive and conduct missions, primarily offensive and defensive counter-air operations, in highly contested environments. The F-22 shape combines stealth and aerodynamic performance. Planform and panel edges are aligned and surfaces have continuous curvature to minimize its radar cross-section. Its clipped diamond-like delta wings are smoothly blended into the angular fuselage with four empennage surfaces and leading edge root extensions running to the upper outboard corner of the carrot inlets. The inlet's upper edges also meet the fuselages for both each ends. Flight control surfaces include leading edge flaps, flaperons, ailerons, rudders on the canted vertical stabilizers, and all moving horizontal tails, stabilators, for speed brake function, the ailerons deflect up, flaperons down, and rudders outwards to increase drag. Owing to the focus on supersonic performance, area rule is applied extensively to the airplane's shape and nearly all of the fuselage volume lies ahead of the wing's trailing edge, with the stabilators pivoting from tail booms extending aft of the engine nozzles. Weapons are carried internally in the fuselage for stealth. The aircraft has a refueling boom receptacle centered on its spine and retractable tricycle landing gear as well as an emergency tailhook, fire suppression system and fuel tank inerting system are installed for survivability. Maximum speed without external stores is approximately Mach 1.8 at military power and greater than Mach 2 with afterburners. With 8,165 kg of internal fuel and an additional 3,629 kg in two 600-gallon external tanks, the jet has a ferry range of over 1,840 miles or 2,960 km. The F-22 was designed to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar, with radio waves reflected, scattered, or diffracted away from the emitter source towards specific sectors, or absorbed and attenuated. Measures to reduce RCS include airframe shaping such as alignment of edges and continuous curvature of surfaces, internal carriage of weapons, fixed geometry serpentine inlets and curved vanes that prevent line of sight of the engine faces and turbines from any exterior view, use of radar absorbent material, ram, and attention to details such as hinges and pilot helmets that could provide a radar return. The F-22 was also designed to have decreased radio frequency emissions, infrared signature and acoustic signature as well as reduced visibility to the naked eye. The aircraft's flat thrust vectoring nozzles reduce infrared emissions of the exhaust plume to mitigate the threat of infrared homing, heat-seeking, surface-to-air or air-to-air missiles. Additional measures to reduce the infrared signature include special topcoat and active cooling to manage the heat buildup from supersonic flight. The F-22 has three internal weapons bays, a large main bay on the bottom of the fuselage and two smaller bays on the sides of the fuselage aft of the engine inlets, a small bay for countermeasures such as flares is located behind each side bay. The main bay is split along the centerline and can accommodate six LAU-142A launchers for beyond visual range missiles and each side bay has an LAU-141A launcher for short range missiles. The primary air-to-air -air missiles are the AIM-120 and the AIM-9 Sidewinder with planned integration of the AIM-260 JATM. Missile launches require the bay doors to be open for less than a second, during which pneumatic or hydraulic arms push missiles clear of the aircraft, this is to reduce vulnerability to detection and to deploy missiles during high-speed flight. An internally mounted M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon is embedded in the airplane's right-wing route with the muzzle covered by a retractable door. The radar projection of the cannon fire's path is displayed on the pilot's head-up display.